Hey, what's up, the Freedom Family? Today, I am here to share with you the progress we've made as a team on the H project. We're going to be discussing about the team, introducing some members, and also our newest recruits. Showcase some work from the art team and the sound team, and then showcase some functionality we've added to the game from the code team. So first up, from the very first video we've made here on the Freedom channel, we've recruited a lot of people to help us design this game. Then last month, we decided that the design was complete enough for us to start working on the game, working on a prototype at least. So that's what we've did, and now here we are, in the middle of actually creating that game. So here's the list of the guys who help us design the game. They're all from Freedom, you're gonna see them in the comments, they're pretty much everywhere, and they've helped us design the game, so I'm really grateful for them, and hopefully we're gonna be working together again in the future. Those designers are still part of the team because we keep needing to change the game, we keep needing to modify and tweak a few stuff, and that's just because we get feedback from you guys, and uh, we need to realize that sometimes sometime we're not doing the right thing, and you guys are there to actually help us out, get those ideas, and the designer have to go again and actually think about those mechanics. So they will most likely contribute again in the future. Now let's move on to the sound team where Benjamin has made a soundtrack for us, an epic soundtrack that's gonna be used as the team of our game. So let's just have a quick listen to it. I'm gonna keep playing it in the background just to give this video some hype and some, you know, some, some good quality music. Now let's move on to the art team really quickly where we had one of our guys, one of our 3D artists who shown a lot of actual knowledge in uh, game development. So he knew about texturing, like the, the proper way to do it, and he knew how to export his stuff. So he was a good artist. We feel like he nailed down the actual art style we're going for. So we promoted him to art director. So I don't actually have to approve art anymore. If you guys know, I'm not. Not really an artist, I'm a code guy, so his name on Discord is Majooks, and we're going to be hearing from him quite a lot as we progress. So guys, um, I'm really happy to just congratulate him at the same time. Majooks, thank you so much for the work you're doing, and hopefully we can make this game look good. Still in the art team, we have some 3D and 2D artists that have been working on, well, some models and also some UI pieces. And I think I'll actually be using this background for once. So uh, we have art from It's Just Jord from the community team, which you're going to see a lot in the comment. He's probably commenting right now as you speak. Um, there's also Ike and Asmilard. So all these guys are on the Discord and they are doing amazing jobs. So thank you guys so much. Now let's jump into what the code team is doing. It's currently made out of two persons. So that is me and that's also Deem Keys. But we're looking for another one. We're looking for a gameplay programmer that knows a lot about Unity. Last week we received a lot of programming application, but we've sent them a test just to test out their skill and if they're able to do the actual work. So we've sent out a, an actual feature request, which is kind of a test for us. And unfortunately, nobody was able to complete it. So the spot is still open today. If you guys know how to program with Unity, you know C Sharp a lot, uh, you might actually give it a try, so you'd like to send an email right here, here, yeah, right here is good, at mike.doyon at freedom.com. And we are going to be reviewing your application, of course sending you the test if you manage to complete it, then you're most likely hired. Okay, and let's move on. So Dimki has some knowledge in Linux that I do not have, so he's been importing the game over to a Linux machine on shared hosting. So we have our game running right now, we have our game running on the web server, and uh, everybody in the team can actually ping the address and play the game, actually have a look at the game, the build. So having our game running somewhere else than on our own machine is a big step. We had to go through a lot of errors and shadow hosting, cross-reference, the database didn't work for a while, so uh, everything is done now. Thank you, Dimki, for that. And he's also working on a audio manager, so we can play all kind of sounds, all kind of music we want through the browser, which also has some restriction, but I believe he's gonna be able to do it. Now on my end, I've been writing down the third-person controls and also the third-person camera. So both of these are working on their states machine and it's only just a draft right now, but at least we've got this thing moving. Which is great because now our artists can actually go inside of the game and have both perspective of the actual building they're making from the burst view and also from the third-person view. So it's going to help them gauge a little bit better how their art looks from these two perspectives. We would like to remind everybody that we're still recruiting. We still need one gameplay programmer. So if you're good with Unity, if you're good with C Shop, email down below in the description. And also we need a bunch of artists. We have a lot of things to make in this game and we need a bunch of artists to make it come to life. So guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace out.